You're dialing. You ever wonder who's listening? A new report says that cell towers, fake cell towers, are sort of cropping up out of nowhere across the country. And these things can intercept your cell phone data calls, data, you name it, to former D.C. detective Rod Wheeler, who's worried about this. Why, Rod? Well, you know, these uh, fake cell phone towers are also called rogue cell phone towers. And let me tell you, uh, Neil, very quickly how this works. What happens is these companies, they create these uh, bogus cell phone towers and they intercept your call in between the real cell phone tower and your cell phone. And what they can do is eavesdrop into your calls or they can steal your actual data, such as emails, text messages. And so far, this company that you just referenced have been able to identify over 18 18 of these rogue cell phone towers right here in the United States. But who's making them? Whose rogue towers are they? I guess they're not legitimate. They're not a Sprint or Verizon. Tower. You're exactly they? right. Right. That's an excellent question. And here's why. Because so far, nobody is laying claim to the ownership of these towers. Now, here's what's really interesting. The viewers are finding this very interesting. These towers that's been identified so far, they've been very close to military installations right here in the United States. So the belief is maybe they belong to the military, but the military is saying, no, they don't belong to us. The question is, who do they belong to and whether or not they belong to another country that's been made their way into the United States, maybe trying to get some of our data and breach our security measures. But Rod, don't they need clearance from local officials or towns? I know in my community that they've had a devil of a time building a tower to extend intermittent coverage and cellular coverage. And all. You just don't pop one of these things up. Right. Well, actually, you do. And they, really? the towers, Neil, they don't look exactly like the towers that you're thinking. Actually, they look like a router, actually, a ah. computer router. Uh, and so that's why they're very small. But here's the thing real quickly. They operate off of the 2G spectrum, the 2G cellular net, uh, spectrum. So if the viewer ever notices on their cell phone that the spectrum has gone from 4G to 2G, then their phone is probably being tapped and listened to. That's one telltale way that you can determine what whether or not somebody is eavesdropping on your call. I had no idea what you just said, but Rod, you're so brilliant. You, you make sense <laughs> of that for me. So 4G well, to 2G. Thank you. I appreciate it. NG. All right. Thank you, sir. Right. As That's always, right. I appreciate your expertise. We're going to have a lot more on sure. this phenomenon of just all this snooping stuff going on.